Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This video is going to be about the Digimon breed. Uh, basically, I just want to go into the breed section. Um, first of all, let's start with the talent points. I mean, the talent point is very straightforward, simple. It's, let's say, the, first of all, the formation, right? Uh, so we have the first talent point. Here you'll have like a attack. If you have Digimon in the back row, this will increase the attack of the Digimon in the back row. If you have Digimon in the front row, like Defense Digimon, this will increase the uh, HP for the Digimon in the front row. So, for me, I did I did the uh, 10 to 10. Both HP and attack in back row. And here we have below, like the second option below, we have for Digimon in attack. The one on top are for Digimon in front row to increase their HP, right? But I did with the attack. Now, the second option is like to increase attack at back row, well, 400, right? But at first you start off lower than 400. And then the maximum, when you go to 10 to 10, you get to 100 points, uh, 400, sorry. And then after that, you follow to the next one, increase attack for Digimon in back row by percentage. So right now I'm at 10 to 10, right? So my attack and back row by percentage is 20%. And then next you get the other option, increase damage bonus rate for Digimon at back row. That's alright, so let's just upgrade these. So we have 3 out of 10 and I have 14 talent points left. So 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10 and I have no more talent points, alright. So to get more talent points, there's... Let's say once you run out of talent points, you can just click on upgrade and it'll show you where to get them. You can get them in the main instances for completing the challenges, the rewards, like let's have a look. You see, you can get the rewards from there or like this one. Yeah, so let's claim that. Done, we got one. And then you also get it from once you reach uh, stars. Let's say, for example, you, on this um, stage here, Yggdrasil 12, if you reach 10 stars, from doing the different stages, 10 stars, you can open this box here and you'll get one more uh, talent point. If you get 20 stars, you can open this next box here and get another one talent point. And when you get all 30 stars from this stage here, you can get like another talent point. That's, that's three. That's three talent points from to gain all, all 30 stars. And then you have one box, two box, three boxes. So that's three more. So you have three and three, six talent points, right? So for the next, to level up to the next one, I need five talent points. So that would have gave me one talent. Um, that would gave me enough for one uh, upgrade. And then other other options where to get talent points is well, as you can see in the arena here. But I already did uh, scores. If I go to scores, this you, have, you just have to fight five times in the arena to receive one talent point. And if you do this every day, every day you can get one talent point. Also, there you can get talent points from various different ways. I mean, talent points are e literally everywhere. You can go to let's have a look. Sometimes digital training when you open the uh, boxes, the uh, chests. It's very rare though, but it does happen. Let's skip this. Okay, I'm not going to go through all that, it's going to take too much time. So, let's have a look in the Elite Adventure. There you go, you can get from these as well. And also, if you get a stars on all of them, like 15 stars, you get another one. So you have one here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in the Elite area, you'll have uh, six talent points. In the Nightmares, well, you'll get from here as well, but you here it depends what level you do, you get double. So, for example, these ones I've already claimed. This one I haven't claimed because I don't have a full star. I haven't finished the last one yet. So you can see you can get two talent points. And if I click on this, you also get talent point from, uh, let's say you get one or two stars, you get this one. You get all complete with full stars, you get another one. So you get two basically out of this stage. 
and then uh, those, those are the ways to get talent points. There's also sometimes they would do special events. So it's not it's not on this time, but whenever so look what's over here. So here we have recharge events. If you want to recharge like 980 diamonds, you can get three talent points. But of course diamonds cost real money and not many people want Okay guys, so once you complete basically once you unlock all of these all of these formations here, even with the talent points, you can go on to the next one. So here, as it actually has shows you how to do this. So how to unlock put 150 in first tree, level 50 team. So if you have 150 talent points in this first tree, you can unlock this one. So at the moment I have 128 talent points here. So I need another 22 more, and I'll make it 150, and then this will become available. So on here, increase HP and attack for all Digimon. Increase HP for all Digimon. Increase attack for all Digimon. So basically, this is a lot. Well, a lot, a lot better than the first one because on the first one you can only do, let's say, increase HP for front row Digimon. It's not for back row or it's just for front row. So for this one, increase HP for all Digimon, right? And you also increase attack for all Digimon, which is a lot better. And let's have a look at different options here. So attack type enhance, increase attack for Digimon. Only for the attack type Digimon, not, it's not for skill type or uh, defense type. Next, skill type enhance. So here we can increase the what's this? increase HP for Digimon skill type. Okay, and then increase attack for Digimon skill type. And then below it we have increased HP for Digimon Defense type. And then the next branches are followed on by the, uh, let's say this is the Defense one, right? So it decreases damage for Defense type Digimon. And then, it, then it increases damage for Defense type Digimon. Basically it's the same with the uh, skill and attack. Uh, so once you put 150 talent points in this one, the next one becomes available. So here, here we're gonna have, okay, so increase HP and attack for all Digimon. Increase HP in front row, and increase attack for Digimon at back row. So technically this is almost similar to the first one, but it increases by a, you know, by a lot of points though. So. Now, the first formation is like, increase critical hit rate by 1%. Second, increase damage rate by 0.3%. And then block rate by 1.2%. I guess a critical rate by 1% is better than uh, the damage rate 0 0.3. So personally, I would probably go with this one, yeah. And then level you up more, increase critical damage by 3%. Increase HP reduction rate by 1%. So as you would level this up until 10 maximum, you probably this would probably go up to 8 maybe 8%, 10%, which is still pretty good. And if you actually wanted to reset, you can actually reset it, like if you click on the button, but it's gonna cost you diamonds and, you know, it's up to you. I mean, if you make a mistake or if you wanna change from attack to defense or vice versa. Anyway, I hope this video uh, helped. So um, leave a like or a dislike, uh, make sure you subscribe everyone. Um, take care. Enjoy your day.